Hi, I'm Miss Karen, and I'm here today to talk about ballet facings. Long before social distancing was a thing, and before we had these squares on the floor, ballet teachers all over the world have been using the concept of an individual square, usually an invisible one, to teach students about accurate ballet facings. Now, the reason for this is if I face the corner of my individual square, I'm setting my body up at a precise 45 degree angle to uncross. Whereas if I would face the corner of the room, which often in advanced studio is rectangular shaped, I'm not getting that required starting 45 degree angle to create all of my ballet facings. Now, if any of you have had me as a ballet teacher, you've probably heard me say ballet is all about geometry and physics. It is about creating beautiful, clean geometric lines and moving them through space artistically using the laws of physics. So pay attention in math and science class because it's all connected. Now let's get to those ballet facings. So if I face corner eight of my own square, not of the room, and I point my right to front to corner eight, I'm creating the accurate line of quasi devant. Left foot back to corner four is quasi derriere. Right foot side to corner two is écarté devant. Left foot side to corner six is écarté derriere. Left foot front to corner eight is a passé devant. And right foot back to corner four is a passé derriere. So there you have your ballet facings and everyone should just get a protractor and have fun practicing.